Welcome back to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. We've got Doug Smith, President, Doug Smith Performance, System438.com is his website. Doug, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks for having me. All right, my pleasure. Give us uh, some background on yourself, and then let's get into how you improve mental performance for people. Well, it started, uh, I was born, uh, they put me in ankle to hip leg braces like Forrest Gump, and then there wasn't a doctor anywhere that you would have been able to find that would have uh, would have told you that I would make it to the NHL and be drafted second overall in 1981. Um, I got impacted by the first year of the 18-year-old draft. I was, in, I was drafted by LA at 18, so... I suffered extreme uh, emotional trauma uh, in Los Angeles. Finally got out of there, played for four other teams. And then in game 607, I, I, some say I was always heading towards the wall because I always had my foot down and to the metal. Um, I, ran, I went into the boards uh, head first, full speed, 25 miles an hour approximately. Um, pile driver shattered the fifth and sixth cervical vertebrae in my neck and tore all the ligaments in the back of my neck. I, I was, I, when I laid on the ice that day, when that happened, I, I knew it was really bad. And I, and I made a commitment that if, uh, if I got out of this, I would, I would do better. And th- th- this is why we're talking because, uh, you, that's coming true now. I'm, I, I feel I'm doing better than, than I did when I was a, an NHL hockey player. Wow, that's a big statement. All right, that thank you for sharing that with us. I appreciate that. Tell me about how you help other people with a system four three eight. It's it's just a behavioral model uh, based on leveraging the subconscious brain. So we we all suffer from trauma. Trauma impacts us negatively, and it can impact the people around us. Yes, but, but the, the the important understanding is that that there are only four types of trauma. We all suffer from it. Um, They're all different because trauma takes into account everything you've experienced since you were very young. But the model to repair the trauma, to break down the disruption that trauma causes between the conscious and subconscious brain is the same for all of us. And it's based on knowing and understanding that there are only four types of trauma we suffer from. Catastrophic physical, catastrophic emotional, cumulative physical and cumulative emotional and it's the number four cumulative emotional that's our ticking time bomb let's open that up stop there and open that one up if that's a ticking time bomb let's start there well cumulative emotional trauma is like carbon monoxide to our brain we don't see it we don't smell it we normalize it our brain doesn't pick up on it so somebody can, can can traumatize you slowly into believing that what they're doing to you is normal. Okay. And so what System 438 does is it gives you the behaviors and the priorities so that you know how to, how to use the system. So there are only three priorities the subconscious brain has. It only cares about three things. Okay. Meeting basic needs, clarity of thought, and helping other people. Okay. There are eight behaviors that, 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 that feed those three priorities. And I teach those behaviors in depth. And people, I hold a mirror up to my audience today and I show them themsel- themselves quickly. The eight behaviors that, that, that can be cultivated, that feed the three priorities of the subconscious brain, that break down the disruption that causes us to behave in ways and not know why, are belief in self, motivation, focus, trust, emotional control, awareness, asking for help, and purpose. And so what we do is we assign actions to those particular behaviors, and those feed the three priorities of the subconscious brain. Don't fool yourself. Maslow's hierarchy is great, but it's incomplete. Tell me about your actions that you're talking about. What are you, the actions that help you on the way to uh, better performance? Well, actions better. that cultivate focus and, right. and, 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 and it, 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 meditation, yoga, holding the door for somebody, picking up garbage that isn't yours. These are all things that we can do that feed the, the, the behaviors, right, mm-hmm. that, 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 that go to the three priorities of the subconscious brain. 
So there's, there's many things that we can do today for our behavior to cultivate emotional control, for example. Meditation is a good example. How do you create awareness? Well, you start to understand things like feedback is the lubricant for awareness. How does the process of awareness work inside the brain? You want to understand this behavior because your subconscious brain controls you. And if it likes being fed awareness and you don't feed it awareness, it's going to get out of control on you. And that's what's happening in the workplace today because this, this, this affects the space in between human beings. So we're able to scale it now from the individual into teams and then into building high-performance work cultures. And we use algorithms to do it. Okay, tell me more about that. So you, it's a bottom-up, anonymous, all the way to the CEO. 37 questions. We're able to now put a dipstick into an organization and measure the culture and keep an eye on the culture, put a red light in there so that if things don't go quite right, we know the order now because system 438 is the core piece that deals with people, but you don't put people into a system until you build the structure and you put leadership in place and you have a strategy or else you poison the people. We live in a knowledge worker society today. The way you manage and lead knowledge workers is different. Okay. D- explain that. It's all based on the shelf life of information. As the shelf life of information shrinks or the world's knowledge doubles and triples, the way we manage and lead other people must fundamentally change. The competitive advantage today is about bringing two or more minds together to create new knowledge faster. Knowledge doesn't have the value anymore. That's not where competitive advantage resides. So System 438 grows and scales into this model that is now speaking to the building of high-performance work cultures and to guys like the Bank of Canada and and to people like the International Standards Organization who are bringing me in to explain this to them because they're so afraid of falling behind industry. And governments don't want them to fall behind industry because they're doing the auditing and financial management. That's, that's the fear. That's why it's a ticking time bomb. If, if, if this situation with cumulative emotional trauma isn't fixed in the workplace, it's in the trillions. It is in the trillions. We look at these numbers. We've been studying this data, my team, for 35 years. It all comes out of the IT sector because the way you turn around an IT project is the way that you turn around a culture. So are you saying the IT industry sector is really the, the, the um, early adopters on this whole process to, to become, one, receptive to changing your, your pattern of behavior and then working on um, mental performance? As a, as well, a, they had to be, but you know what? They would only change until they were flying Mach 5 into the ground. They had spent 80% of the budget because nobody knew how to ask for help. Yeah, well, how do you, how do you shortcut that? How do you get around and Oh, it's that? simple. Tragically, it's so simple. I don't have time on, the, uh, on this call to, to tell you how to do it. Right. You know, each, each situation is, is unique, but first you observe. There's two things that I've learned that you cannot speak to. Trauma and culture. You cannot speak to them. You can only observe them. And it's in your understanding of observing them that you're able to help them. Got it. Doug, that's all the time we have, but it's been a fascinating and fast-paced segment. The time just flew by. Thanks for being a guest here. My pleasure. All right. Doug Smith, President, Doug Smith Performance System, 438.com. Thanks for listening. Segment has been brought to you by Tycon Partners, and you've been listening to CEO Money with Michael Yorba and Ed Baxter.